Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Java applications. Our viewer is looking to automate a Java applet that resides within an Internet Explorer-only website. They know about the Java Access Bridge, a powerful tool for interacting with Java applications, but they're struggling to connect it to the applet. Let's dive into their question and explore how to access and control Java applets using the Java Access Bridge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To automate a Java applet using the Java Access Bridge, we first need to ensure that the Java Access Bridge is enabled on your system. This is crucial for allowing accessibility tools to interact with Java applications. Next, we need to identify the Java Applet's window handle, or HWND. Since you mentioned using SPY++ and it returned blank, we can try an alternative approach using the Java Access Bridge API directly. Once we have the HDND, we can use the get accessible context from HDND method to retrieve the accessible context of the applet. This allows us to interact with the applet's components programmatically. Finally, with the accessible context, you can now control the applet. You can invoke methods on the components, retrieve properties, and simulate user actions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To automate a Java applet using the Java Access Bridge, start by locating the applet tag in the HTML page and noting its dimensions. Then, move your cursor to the center of the applet. Next, use the Get Accessible Context at API with the applet's coordinates to retrieve its accessible context. Finally, iterate to the root level of the accessible context to access the first object of the applet window. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.